In this video, I have explained how to increase the speed of simulation in CST simulator by proper setting of boundary condition. In simulators, the boundary conditions specify the calculation domain of our problem. To have better view, I have prepared two examples here. The first one is a pyramidal horn antenna. I have excited this antenna using waveport. We can reach the boundary setting from simulation header. By double click on boundaries, this page will be opened. In the first step, I have set all of the boundaries and open at a space. The F parameter results for this antenna have been calculated here and we can see the forfeit results of this antenna at 3 GHz and 4 GHz here. The maximum directivity is 8.93 dBi at 3 GHz and this parameter is equal to 10.93. 98 dBi at 4 GHz. The total number of meshes in this case is equal to 55,176. Obviously, this structure has symmetry. So, we can use symmetrical plane to reduce the calculation domain. So, we open the boundary setting from simulation header. Then, in the next header, we can reach the symmetry plane. Selection of the symmetry plane depends on electromagnetic field direction on the structure. Here, I choose the symmetry plane according to the dominant mode. However, the selection can affect the higher order mode and consequently on cross polarization. So, I set magnetic boundary for YZ plane and electric boundary for XZ plane. I run the simulation again. We can see the F parameters again and obviously the same results are obtained. Then we check the far field patterns at 3 GHz and 4 GHz and the results are similar to those of the previous simulation. The total number of meshes for this new simulation is equal to 14,212 which is reduced 4 times. Second example is a patch antenna. In the first step, I have set the boundaries and open at a space for all the boundaries except bottom boundary, which is said to be perfect electric, since the bottom layer of the patch antenna is ground, and so there is no radiation. For this example, the calculated F parameter is as can be seen here. We can see that there is a resonance near 2.4 GHz. The far field pattern for this frequency is as this figure. The maximum directivity is equal to 6.25 dBi. The total number of meshes for this problem is 20,700. For this structure, there is only one symmetry plane. Again, I select boundaries from simulation header and in the second header, I choose magnetic for Y that plane. Then, I simulate all of the structure again. No, we can see the F parameters and clearly the calculated results are similar 
to those we have taken before. And the forfeit results are similar to the previous ones. As it is expected, the total number of meshes is reduced two times and is equal to 10,350. Employing symmetry plane can increase the simulation speed. However, it might reduce the accuracy of results since it suppresses some of the higher order modes. I hope you to enjoy this video. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel to support me. Thank you.